Hello folks, I'm Anticio Duke and I wanna thank you for stopping by. We've covered a lot of different design techniques, strategies, and more. But one thing we can't overlook is the fact that we need to test what we design. So in this video, we're gonna cover some tips about usability tests, observation, and just some things to keep in mind when you're planning to test and prototype your designs. If that's your jam like it is mine, join the fun. Let's do this. There's power in having tests. There's power in usability tests. They give you the insight you need to see how you need to improve or work through points of friction for your users. Now, We've talked in the past about design thinking and several phases that go along with that. So where I'd like to put this process of testing is, you guessed it, I'm an advocate for testing early and often. Now, if we talked about that design thinking phase, I would love to put it right in between every step. So you need to be testing every phase, but specifically the prototyping and testing phase. And this is iterative, meaning every time you get a bit of insight, it should inform how you need to improve it. So with one test, you will get valuable insights from that. You'll tweak that design, that file, that feature, and then you improve it to do it all over again. And who better to get the feedback from? The direct consumers you are targeting. Today, I will cover a couple of tips that will help you get the most out of your usability and observation session. The first tip to making this session valuable, have a focused observation plan. You see, when we actually start to observe user behavior, sometimes we've done it in a way that captures the entire system in to in. But if we're trying to focus on where bottlenecks happen, where drop off and conversion happens, we need a way to target our focus. So have a plan of action. If you're focused on one feature, maybe the action a user is doing to select a call to action or a task you want them to complete in order to progress forward, that has to be focused. And once you have that plan of attack, you can isolate different areas in which you're causing these pain points and focus intently on that to improve it. So that's tip number one, have a plan to work from. Tip number two to get the most out of your sessions is gather a large sample size of data. Now you do this by targeting and testing with a variety of users. Now, in one instance, when completing a task, a user may do one action and may get stuck or frustrated. In another situation, a user may complete a task and it flows smoothly. One may be an edge case, happens irregularly, and the other may just be the happy path. Avoid using one edge case or one situation and grouping it to call it all situation. Expand your sample size and test with a variety of users so you can get the most valuable insights from their responses. And tip number three is complementary to two. When you're doing these things, make sure you are looking for patterns. This is how you start to synthesize your usability tests and behavioral patterns. Again, as mentioned, when one user does one action and another user does a completely different action, that does not mean that one is right or wrong. If they happen to get stuck, there's a pain point. They can't advance. You start to get those learnings. And those findings are more important than the visual layout of the screen. Watch out for occurrences that are happening regularly and watch out for edge cases that are happening Maybe just due to circumstance. Maybe instead of them being on a cellular network, they're on a Wi-Fi and it cuts out. Some of these things are edge cases, but some of them are specific patterns. A lot of users have a mental model of how something should work. Their actions aren't aligned with that. Observe those patterns 
And once you start to learn a little bit more, you'll be well on your way to understanding how to improve your system in every stage. Just for the love of the discipline, I wanted to show you an example of working with the client who has uh, a live app and we were doing a usability test audit on some of the users. Now, in this example, I can't show you everything, but I'll show you just a little bit, just, just, just a little bit, a little easy. Thing. I'll show you a quick snippet of us building hypothesis around some of the issues that we've been observing. And once that audit is done, I can compile those findings and we can use that to set up our feature list, things to work on and improve in their importance. Check it out. So it's interesting to see that now the user has, or the applicant has options to select through and they're not going at them linearly, right? As we're seeing in this usability session that there are active links available for them to select and gain more information. And although they're listed in a specific order, this applicant is moving through them at their leisure when they you know feel comfortable to select this one versus that one it's not in a specific linear form i know internet latency is an issue sometimes with people but the prevalence i don't have a i can't give you a, a real number and in most cases when you're actually reviewing a lot of this mm -hmm. what um do you have specific things that you're checking for, specific items that you're reviewing against or, or in reference to? Yeah, it could be. And most of the time when I'm looking for it, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not just like watching it regularly. I'm looking at a specific UI element and the way people are interacting with it. Sure. Or I'm looking at um, a particular section and the way people are navigating it. That's usually when I'm doing a session capture. That's what I'm looking for. What'd you think? Well, that's all we have today. I want to thank you for stopping by. And if this video gave you any kind of value, give it a thumbs up, like it, because that's what we do around here. And share it with someone you feel can get value from this. In the meantime, in between time, I want to say your life has color. So make sure you design it that way. And we'll see you in the next one.